Even all remarks here, back again with another video, back again with another Oculus Go video. Now I just put out my video detailing the updates in the 3.57 firmware update for your Oculus Go, and somebody in the comments of that video noticed there's an important change as well. So if you want to sort of learn more about that update, I'll put a link to that video upstairs and down below and all that sort of stuff, but you can now record audio with your game recording. So the Oculus Go allows you to record gameplay on some apps and games, um, and it's never been able to record audio. So you always have to record audio separately. I have a microphone on top of my head, um, my camera that's pointed at my headset that captures my speaking and the game audio. Um, but now you can record the game audio in the actual Oculus Go itself. So if we go into the headset, we jump into Echo. If you haven't tried Echo, it was on my, my latest releases video yesterday, and it's definitely worth picking up for the money. Once it starts booting up, all you need to do is press the Oculus Go button on your controller, go down to sharing, click record video, and then in the top right corner of your view, you'll see a little red dot, um, and then you can play along. So the game can start, let's jump forward, get some sound going. So you can kind of hear it. As I say, Echo is a brilliant game and I can't, I, I'm looking forward to playing more of it. But we've always struggled um, to get audio for gameplay. So there we go, there's audio playing. Let's let it play for a couple of seconds. Once you're finished, you press your Oculus Go control button again. Go down to recording, click recording. Let's quit that game. Go to navigate, go to gallery. If you don't have the gallery app here, it'll be in your library as a gallery, Oculus gallery app. And then we can just go into our internal storage. We've got our file, we can click on it. And there we go, we've got sound. So now the recording function inside the Oculus Go does record a really nice crisp looking video. Uh, probably one of the better ways of recording it. Uh, it only does little square videos like you're sort of seeing here. Have we got the audio? Here we go. Amazing, it should be in sync. It saves you having to record it separately and trying to sync it. Always the biggest issue was trying to sync the video and the audio together. You'd have to transcode the video to make it a stable frame rate to be able to then put in, put in with the audio if you record it separately. Uh, now you don't have to do that. All you need to do is connect your, once you've recorded, connect your Oculus Go to your PC. So via USB cable. Uh, if you don't have developer mode on, all you should have to do is accept a message inside the headset and then it shows up as a drive. You'd have to go in and grab the files and then you can upload them to YouTube, do all sorts of stuff with it, put them on Facebook, whatever, um, in good quality. Um, and if you have developer mode turned on, say you've been sideloading some apps and that sort of thing, what you need to do is make sure you just do ADB devices in your command line, um, or if you've got ADB link installed, make sure you run that, and that just makes it pop up then as a drive as well, and you can go in and transfer your files around. So this is great, this is great news. We should now be able to see a lot more Oculus Go gameplay content on YouTube um, from various people, from various creators, um, and it'll just make people's life so much easier. Now, it isn't the way I record my gameplay. I have it hooked up to my PC recording using ADB. Um, it has many uses, that program. Um, but that's because of the way I just record, it's a lot easier syncing up with my audio and that sort of thing. But um, for your average sort of uh, consumer, uh, this is a great feature. You can be able to now record some bits and send them to people or, you know, somebody's struggling with something, you're trying to explain something to them, record a little clip of you doing it. Um, it should be quite great and you'll be able to email it and send it to people. One thing I would say is not all apps and games support recording. So things like media apps like Netflix, YouTube, and even Oculus TV do not allow you to record inside them. Uh, so you still can't record with those. So it's a bit of a hit and miss. You're gonna have to boot up your apps, your favorite apps and games, see if they let you record. If they do, brilliant. If they don't, well, suddenly you're out of luck, unless you do it the other way that I'm doing it. Um, but let me know what you think down below. If you do create something, you do upload it to YouTube, hopefully with a bit of commentary, which you will have to record separately. Let me know, let, tag me in my Discord or on Twitter or something when you post something. I'd be interested to take a look. But uh, that's uh, a great, great new feature, one that I obviously missed in the previous update. So let me know what you think about it. Are you gonna use it? Are you gonna create something? Um, share them with me, that'd be brilliant. If you found this video useful, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down, that's fine. I'm big enough and ugly enough to take it if you didn't like it. But do let me know in the comments down below why you didn't like it, and I'll try and do better for next time. Become one of the Remarkables, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell to be notified when I next upload a video. And that's me done, I'm out. Have a virtual high five.